There we go. Digging, guys, digging. Oh, whatever it is. If it's a bass, it's big. I went down to the river. I built on my knee. I bathed in the muddy water. Set my soul free. And my blue. All my blue. Were washed away. And my blue. Nice fish. What's up guys? It's JL Folks from Road Angler TV. I'm out on Percy Priest again, doing some fishing. I'm gonna try to uh, upgrade some of my fish in the uh, month long. Uh, 10 cat tournament if you haven't seen the last video go check it out caught a limit last time I was out here but uh, anyways today's a special day because I got a brand new fish finder set up it's really sick so I'm about to run through it and show you guys what I got going on here all right guys so this is my new setup here pretty sweet I got a cell block which this is where the battery is in in this compartment here and then I've got a transducer arm, so I got my transducer down in the water right now. And then I've got my Garmin Striker 4, and this is a, a Yak Attack um, fish finder set up right here. But uh, yeah, so got my fish finder on right now, currently in 10 feet of water. See a fish right there. You can just take this right off, on and off the gear tracks. Got everything mounted on one thing here. So it's gonna make fishing a lot easier. Right now I got it on the fish icons. I haven't figured it out exactly how to turn that off, but we'll do that for now. See some kind of grass or something on the bottom there. Currently sitting at seven and a half feet. All right, just turn the fish symbols off. So I guess what we're gonna be looking for are some arches and some schools of fish, but uh, right there, that could be fish right there, those little arches. Looks like little arches there. But uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be looking for. We're trying to find fish on the fish finder. Stay tuned. So, this thing is pretty big, this setup. But I have to say, it doesn't really take up a whole lot of space on the boat. And I still have a pretty good bit of room to paddle and cast. So like right now, I've got my arms completely extended. And I'm paddling and I'm not hitting the uh, transducer arm but I could put up that transducer arm if I wanted to but uh yeah pretty much how I got this thing set up is I got a couple screws and the transducer arm right there and then I've got the uh, fish finder holder right there holding the Garmin Striker 4 by the way these are all yak attack products the cell block the transducer arm and the thing that's holding the Garmin and then the only other thing that's not a Yak Attack product is the fish finder itself. That's a Garmin Striker 4. That felt like something. I don't know if that's a rock or a fish. That's a fish. There we go. There we go. Saw him on the fish finder. Yanked them up, small one. There were some bigger ones with it, so I may hang here a minute. I don't think that's gonna help me out any. He's a little too small. Real pale looking. I don't think he's even 12. Yeah, he's not even 12. It's not gonna help us out. All right, guys, first fish of the day. There's some more fish right there. We're gonna see now we're in 10 feet of water. Yeah, we're gonna hang right around this point here a minute. Looks like there's some fish in here. Here we are about right in the middle of the lake here. We are 42 feet deep. So right around 42, it was about 46, a little bit back there. I always wanted to know how deep this lake was, like out in the middle. But I see a lot of fish schooled up and stuff like right under me. Like right now, I see a little school right there. It could be like crappie or bass. I don't know. 
These are kind of the bigger fish symbols, so they could possibly be bass. <clears throat> Alright guys, so we're at the spot. There's actually a road bed. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's over there. But it runs underwater here. It was sunk a long time ago. So fish like to kind of stage up over here. And I'm seeing a lot of fish on the fish finder. So they're definitely over here. They're at different depths. Some are at like 5, some are at 10. Right now I'm in 20 feet. So they're kind of deep. They look to be suspended around 5 to 10. So I'm just kind of tossing a Ned Rig out. And hoping they bite it. Baby, check. There we go. Digging, guys, digging. Oh, whatever it is, if it's a bass, it's big. Could be a smallie. Oh, is that a big drum? Oh man, it's a big drum. <laughs> a big drum. <laughs> oh man. I thought it was a big bass. We'll take it though. We'll take it. God, it's a big drum. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh my God, that was a big drum. That's crazy. I knew I was going to get one of these eventually. Whew. I'll take it. All right, guys, well, I just got my first big drum <laughs> on the Bandito bug. I mean, this this fish just came up and annihilated this thing. I thought I had a big bass on. Thing fought great. All right. Dude, this is a big drum. I wish this was a bass so bad. God, look how big this freaking thing is. Big drum, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna put them on the board just to see. Thank God, this has gotta be like a freaking, another like eight pound fish. Wow, like a six or seven pound drum maybe. God. <laughs> 22 and 3 fourths <laughs> giant drum guys we're gonna let them go big old freshwater drum I'll take it never caught a big one like this before so this is pretty cool let them go he was ready <laughs> This fish came up and nailed the freaking bandito bug on top water. Oh, nice. We got another one to put on the board. Heck yeah. Like a two, like a two pounder. That's what I'm talking about. A little upgrade here. Heck yeah, right at 15. That's what we want. God, I wish I was had the GoPro on for that. I felt a little bite and I just reeled it in. He came up and nailed it on top of water. It was awesome. Gonna go ahead and put this guy in the Tourney X app. And uh, that should bring me up a little bit. Get rid of that 12 incher. All right, nice little two pound bass here on the Guggen Baits Bandito bug. See you later. All right, guys, just getting off the water. 
had a fun day of fishing. Got out for a few hours to try out the new uh, fish finder setup. Uh, it's a pretty cool little setup. I could take it on and off the kayak. All I got to do is put on the gear tracks. But I may play around a little bit with it. I may try to uh, put that cell block under the first compartment on the yellowfin. Or I may just leave it on the side gear track and put the other stuff on the gear tracks as well. So I'm going to play around a little bit with it. So that's not my final setup yet. But anyways, I caught three fish today. Caught a giant drum, which I was not expecting. I thought that thing was like a giant smallmouth. Measured 23 inches. Could have easily weighed six to eight pounds. Pretty awesome fight. Pretty awesome fish. Uh, definitely wanted to catch one of those. So I'm glad I got that off the bucket list. And then uh, got to upgrade one of my bass for the uh, 10 cat online monthly tournament. So got rid of that 12 incher and put a 14.75 uh, on the board. So that helped a little bit, but looking forward to getting out more on the water for the rest of this month. Gonna be fishing a lot. So looking forward to some pretty awesome catches. But anyways, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.